and welcome. Today I will show you how to create a pomander, also known as the kissing ball. This is a very common decoration, commonly used in weddings, sometimes attached to pews, sometimes used for bridesmaids. It's a very common decoration for many gazebos, outdoor venues, even sometimes the flower girl also uses these. So you will need some simple floral oasis foam, submerged in your water, some moss, also submerged in water, and you'll also need some chicken wire. You're going to need to cut enough to cover your oasis in. Be careful with the chicken wire as it could cut you. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it to our desired length. Remember the kissing ball is quite literally a ball made of flowers and it looks, it's very round and you can make it with roses, any sort of flower that you'd like. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to take your oasis and you're going to trim it into a, into a circle or as circular as you can get it into the desired shape and your desired size. So of course you can buy your own, but I'm going to show you this florist secret to how to do it yourself. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your oasis and you're going to simply put it on your moss. Then you're going to wrap it up in your moss like so, as you can see here. You're also going to take pieces of wire, fold them into the shape of a U, make these U clips and simply just clip your moss to your oasis. You can see here, simply taking my wire, bending it, and creating these little U-clips, kind of like bobby pins or those bun clips. Then you're gonna take your chicken wire and you're gonna put it in. And wrap your chicken wire around your moss oasis ball right here. Simply like this, bend it over. Be, care, be careful not to cut your hands as the chicken wire is pretty sharp. Just make this little ball with your moss and your chicken wire. And now we're going to extra secure it with our wire. Connect the two sides together and twist. Simply like that and do that in many places just to secure it. So these, these pomanders you can create, or this base you can create in many different shapes and sizes. Usually they are circular, but you can create them in many different sizes. Now we're going to take a bit of ribbon. The ribbon is there so that you can hang it. Once again, that's also your design length. And you're going to tie one end to a piece of the chicken wire you're going to loop it through the chicken wire and then you're just going to tie the two ends together like this. Pull it through, double knot it if you wish, and then here you have your little, your little string. This is what you will use to attach your commander to your pew, or to your gazebo, or as a handle for your bridesmaids or your flower girl. We're just going to make a small bow out of the ribbon that we have. This small bow will act as a bit of a cushion when you're storing your little wedding ball overnight. So just make a small bow 
And since you don't want to break the flowers overnight, we're going to use this to act as a cushion for our ball. See, versus that, we're going to hang it, or rather place it on that side. And if you don't want the bow, don't worry, it's practically unnoticeable when you create it. And when you finally make your pomander. So just take the ribbon that you used prior from the little handle you created. That's why I left the two little pieces of ribbon. I'm going to use that and I'm going to tie my bow to my ball here. And you can see now I just have a bow with the handle. And this is going to act as the cushion when I place it upside down overnight. Base is ready. As you can see here, our base is prepared. And now we're going to begin adding our flowers. So now we're going to begin adding our flowers to our pomander base here that we've created. I'm going to be using some tinted pink baby's breath. Make sure that when you cut baby's breath, you cut it on an angle so that the bottom of it is sharp and easier to put into your base. I'm also going to be using some sprayed ruscus, some rose gold ruscus. As you can see here, I'm going to cut that on an angle and put it in. This is going to be for a flower girl. It takes a while to complete something like this as it is it is very time consuming and you need to spend a lot of time tediously putting each and every one of these in at the right angle cutting them to the right size shape and making sure you cover all the surface area so it is pretty tedious work and it takes a lot of time but don't give up continue working on it I can guarantee you that the final result will be beautiful just fill in any gaps that you have anywhere that the oasis peeks through with any greenery that you have and feel free to cut off any parts that are sticking out with a pair of scissors to make it perfectly circular and other than that we're practically done so just fill in any gaps that you have with some, any leftover flowers that you have Done. So, when you're storing it overnight, keep it upside down. So the side with the bow, you want to put that one down on the table like this when you're storing it. And thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments, questions, and concerns below. And don't forget to subscribe.